I am good at going downhill. So I thought in my head, what's the best way for me to get ahead of them? And I thought maybe if I pretended I was tired on the last climb, and actually Catherine attacked and I had to dig pretty hard to catch, and then Cat Carol kind of went, and they had a gap on the top of the downhill, and that's perfect for me to attack without them seeing, and then I fly by them through the corkscrew, and then I had to ride real hard the last two days or so to win. So what does it mean to this young, young team here, here Brad? Brad it's it's very, very a new team. team. You didn't have a lot of riders here. What was the game plan going into the race? We wanted to be patient with only three riders. Um, some of the other teams have some more riders. We've had patience with the teams. Go with moves. Um, we just wanted to be patient. I wasn't that patient, but I saw a move that would be a good chance to attack, and it worked out. So you're not done here today. I understand you may have another race uh, on your program on Saturday. Yes, I do. I need to, to go get my mountain bike shoes and uh, switch, switch to my squishy four-inch bike and go race the short track. Well, congratulations, Allison Power, to Vera Bradley Foundation. What a great event here today, and what a gutsy team. A very worthy winner here at Seattle Classic. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And thank you to Vera Bradley Foundation for support, supporting us and for all of our other specialized Michelin. Um, I can't name them all, but they're all awesome. <laughs>